Welcome to Rediscovering America. I'm your host, Robert Brown. Today we're at the Border Patrol Museum here in El Paso, Texas, and we have a guest today. Our guest, our guest is uh, Mrs. Brenda Tisdale, the curator of the museum. Welcome to the show, Mrs. Tisdale. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our national treasure. This is the Border Patrol Museum and Memorial Library Foundation. And it is the National Museum, the only one in the whole United States. And in this wonderful museum, we keep over 100 years or so of Border Patrol and the pre-Border Patrol group, the Mountain Guards. Um, as you can see behind us, here we have a board of, uh, of the many agents and inspectors who have died in the line of duty in the Border Patrol. Uh, since 1918 up to current times. Um, a lot of people don't realize that the Border Patrol is the first line of defense for the United States of America, northern and southern borders, and has been so since the beginning of time, or our time. <laughs> <laughs> um, when was the uh, Border Patrol Museum established? The original Border Patrol Museum opened its doors in 1985 and it was located in the basement of the old Cortez Hotel downtown. And uh, then in 94, uh, February to be exact, we opened uh, this facility, brand new, and um, we've been here ever since. And this museum is, is a private, not-for-profit. We've never been funded by the government. It was actually built by a, a group called the Fraternal Order of Retired Border Patrol Officers and their families. And it was because they had a dream, they had a vision, that there should be a place somewhere to keep track, to record, to collect, to present the wonderful traditions and the history of the Border Patrol. And this is the place. And so we work very hard to try to keep their dream alive. And uh, we love it when people come to visit us. That's great. And uh, what the, do they have like events here? In, in? Well, every day is an event here, you know. Uh, we have uh, tours, we have people who book, uh, we do guided tours. We have guests who come to visit us from all over the, the world, literally. And uh, our main events uh, usually are publicized and are usually in conjunction with our uh, memorial services in May. We also are the home, uh, we, we sponsor the graduation ceremonies for the uh, Border Patrol Citizens Academy graduations. And uh, every year, uh, for the last several years, in May also, we host the um, birthday, anniversary, celebration of the Border Patrol. And uh, that's when our national chief and uh, people come from all over the country to um, be here. And usually those are publicized because, um, you know, the dates are not static. We don't do it the same day every year. We also participate with uh, many of the other museums in, in town and uh, Convention Bureau and all those folks. We do our summertime scavenger hunt based on museum exhibits and, uh, you know, those, everybody in the community has an opportunity to you know, participate there. But mostly what we do here is um, we try to make every day special. Um, right this minute, I don't have any grand openings or anything um, that are coming up to be presented immediately. We just recently, in Jan uh, January, had um, Congressman Reyes and uh, astronaut Danny Olivas here, and we had a very large celebration, and um, uh, Mr. Olivas was pretty terrific. He presented us with a Border Patrol flag that he carried up in the Space Shuttle Discovery. So we are working on a new um, exhibit to, to build around that. That's great. Now all these uh, exhibit items that they have here, how, how to acquire 
Everything in here has been donated. We, uh, um, we have a lot of wonderful items and uh, all of our items have been presented by either uh, retired or active uh, Border Patrol people, uh, estates of uh, agents and families. Uh, we do have uh, some really nice historical vehicles. Okay, we have a Piper plane and we have a, uh, an 06 uh, helicopter. And we have a Willis Jeep and we have a Model A and, and the fast car, the, the Firebird. And uh, the, those we did get through the Border Patrol. Uh, they were donated to us. And we get hands on in some of those, get to play in them. <laughs> that would be fun. Yeah. Uh, our kids are 292 like those. And we, we do keep, uh, like I say, the, the memory of our heroes here also. We will be having the memorial service this year. I think the day is going to be May the 20th. Okay. Now, do you, is there a website? That... We do have a website, and it is pretty incredible. Uh, it's www.workpatrolmuseum.com. And we have uh, history and photos and poetry and uh, oral histories and uh, all kinds. We also have our gift shop uh, catalog is on there so they can participate with us that way. We do have an outstanding gift shop here. And uh, we have people who order and we ship anywhere practically. And um, last year alone, we conducted guided tours for a little over 5,000 area uh, civic groups and children, school children, college kids. And uh, we are working on a, building a bigger and better research library here also for students, potential students. Now, if somebody wanted to contact the Border Patrol Museum, you know, mm -hmm. they're on the website and they want to talk to somebody, uh, is there a number they can reach? Absolutely. The phone number is area code 915-759-6060. That's okay. easy. Right. Thank you. And I appreciate your time. Thank you. Uh, well, this is uh, Rediscovering America. Talk to you next time from the Memorial Room at the Border Patrol Museum on the east side of the Franklin Mountains on Trout Mountain Road. And until next time. <laughs>